All right, in this video, we'll talk about interviewing. And the reason why I'm talking about interviewing is because this is going to allow you to close the deal. So imagine having all the skills in the world and like being able to do like backflips with your code. If you cannot pass the interview, you will not get paid. All right, so you can be a super good looking guy like me, then go on a date, but you don't know how to say the right things or like you use pickup lines or whatever, you're never going to, you know, get into a relationship and then you'll never get married and you'll never have kids, right? So the interview helps you seal the deal pretty much. And learning how to interview, it's a skill that you can learn. And I'm going to give you three tips and we're going to discuss about these three points that I've, uh, I wrote uh, here. And if you understand these tips and you really apply them, you will be successful. Okay. So I have interviewed, I don't know, a hundred, even more than a hundred people so far, junior developers who are in my program. Right. Um, and I have conducted hundreds of interviews so far. Okay. And I also have been interviewing people who wanted to get in the companies that I was working for. Okay. So I'm pretty experienced. I never uh, did lead code style interviews. Let's say it wasn't really my style. And um, that's not my forte. Okay. But if you want to work at Google and whatnot, I'm not the guy I cannot help you get there. But if you want to get your first job and if you want to make a career change, then this video is going to help you out. Okay. So just today, actually, I have interviewed a very strong uh, guy. He's very good. Um, the app he built is one of the most advanced applications that I've seen in my life in my program. Okay. So he's a very, very solid guy. He knows his stuff. He can build projects, but building projects is one thing. Interviewing, it's another thing. And I always start with asking a very simple question, which is, uh, what is the difference between var, let, and const? And you might giggle and say, ah, that's easy. And he also giggled, you know? And then guess what? He failed, okay? He failed delivering the answer to this question, right? And I'm not gonna get into what he said and how he said it, but what I'm trying to say is that you need to know your basics, no matter how silly or stupid or simple those, you know, questions might be. Um, you have to know them like the back of your hand. And again, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description of this video. It's going to be the second link. This is uh, in my program. You can get this for free. There is a notion here with a, sh with a shit ton of interview questions the basic ones that are getting asked all the time. You need to know those like, I, I cannot stress enough how important it is to know your basics. It's like, uh, like having a basic vocabulary that you can use to communicate with people around you. It's like being an American and not knowing the 50 states. Okay. Yeah. You can get by without knowing the 50 states, but someone is going to ask you in an interview in, on a TikTok, what are, you know, 10 states that start with A or whatever. And you don't know how to answer that question. You look like, you look stupid, right? And the same as if you are, you know, European and someone is asking you, okay, what are the neighboring countries around your, that are around your country, right? You should know that, okay? These are basics and the, the, the secret is to know the basics, okay? So prepare that. Now, in that uh, link that I'm going to leave under in this video, there is a system that you can use to teach yourself um, those interview questions with ChatGPT. I don't really recommend it, but I'm giving you a tip there on how to use ChatGPT to prepare those interview questions. You should know the basics of the programming language that you're using, in this case, JavaScript, and any other libraries that you're using, okay? So, for example, react or next like you should know refs states you know the, the, the use effect uh, you should know class components you should know jsx you should, you should know the ins and outs of the tools that you're using i, I cannot uh highlight how important it is this is okay this is not uh, you cannot have an excuse and just skip that if you want to skip it trust me you'll skip on getting paid
It's, it's as simple as that. Now, other things that are very important when it comes to interviewing is to be able to um, write things, okay, uh, without Googling. So I know it's like a meme. Every developer, like all developers Google everything. Like there is nothing that you do as a developer without Googling. And <clears throat> I understand where this is coming from, but this is extremely stupid. Uh, this is extremely stupid advice and it's uh, encouraging ig ignorance. Me as a developer, even though I'm not coding for a big company, I'm coding stuff for myself right now. And I barely Google anything. Okay, I know the, the basics really well and I can just go for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours without Googling anything. If you find yourself in an interview to in a position where you have to Google how to use map or filter or if you don't use filter in the right way or you use map like a for each or a for each like a map or you use filter like a for each and then you have... I'm saying this because I've seen it, okay? If you don't know how to use your tools, you will be sacked, okay? You'll be promoted to customer, okay? You're not gonna get paid. If you do not believe me, go ahead and try it uh, for yourself. You are the one who is losing money, okay? Then, fix your insecurities. So what do I mean by this? Um, everyone, uh, every one of you, has insecurities. It's part of human nature. And especially as a coder, you have insecurities. So the worst thing that you can do when you have insecurities is to ignore the fact that you have insecurities. So for example, you know that you uh, don't know how map works, let's say, okay? You don't know how map works and you just know about it and know about it know about it, but you don't do anything about it. You just know about it, know about it, know about it. Why not take, you know, 10 minutes after watching this video and list down every single thing that you're insecure about. Maybe you don't know the difference between violet and const, or maybe you wanna make sure that you know it really well. Maybe you don't know what the promise is. Maybe you don't know uh, what the callback is. Maybe you don't know how to set up an event listener on click on window or something like that, whatever it might be. I want you to write down every single thing that you are not 100% confident in. That's your list of insecurities. And I want you to go and spend, you know, two days, three days, maybe a week researching and trying to understand every single thing that is that only on that list of insecurities. If you do that, my God, you'll be, uh, you'll be an alien. Okay, why? Because nobody does that. Everyone, it's in the human nature to avoid uh, confronting the things that you are scared, right? It's, it's normal, right? But if you take, you know, a step back and think about it logically, if you feel like you're not good at something and you know that you should be good at that because your brain is smart enough to make you feel, you know, insecure, about something because it knows that you should be good at, right? So don't take it as a, a personal attack, but more like a, how can I say, like a compass that directs you towards what you have to do, if that makes sense. So do that and spend a week trying to work on, on your insecurities. And then you'll have this all the time. You'll have this in your first week of coding, in your second week, in your first year, fifth year, every single time. If you do this, you will be an absolute savage. Okay, cool. Then the third tip that I wanna give you, um, it's confidence. So what do I mean by that? Whenever you deliver something, right? Uh, whenever you speak, whenever you communicate with someone, 90% uh, of the message is the delivery, right? Not the actual words that you are using. Um, so whenever you say something, even if it's said correctly, if you do not sound confident in how you said that thing, let's say the violet and const answer, if you have inflections like this, you end up on a high note, 
you're gonna make the interviewer think that you don't know the answer even if you said it correctly okay so basically you need to ooze of confidence and this is gonna help you secure that job okay of, of course confidence comes from fixing your insecurities and knowing your basics you, you, you can be confident and not know your stuff but you're st still not gonna get a job i'm talking about learn do this okay and then after you do this add confidence on top of that and then you'll absolutely nail the interview confidence comes from you know experience age um uh, practice you know it's something that you can train uh it's not something that you're born with none of these things from here are something that you're born with okay i hope you can see that so this can be trained this can be trained and this can be trained every single thing that you want can be um, achieved if you have the right skills and you can learn the right skills with time with uh, energy that you are spending towards that with being aware of where you are in this space with having a low ego shutting up as i mentioned in the previous video i said i'm not gonna swear because i want to monetize the video because i'm gonna get promoted a bit more by youtube and if you have a mentor right so what we do is this is my mentorship program and we have a community of great people uh we are i'm gonna have we, so we have this course you're gonna learn html javascript react you're gonna make a sick app and then we have the team project and basically the team project is going to serve as work experience for you uh, so then you don't have to have a portfolio and in this way we skip the junior and we go straight into mid-level uh, that's up to you if you want to do that we have meetings boom 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 we have interview prep calls every week we're going to have a few more coming soon and we have the community right so whenever you have a problem you're going to ask a question Whenever you finish your code, uh, you post it here, and then I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna tell you what you did right, how you can improve it, etc., etc. I think I can show you here. Right. So, for example, um, Sam is trying to achieve something, right? And he did it the wrong way. I made a short video of two minutes helping him figure out how to do how to solve the problem in the right way so he can understand the concept. So that's kind of what I do. It's pretty much uh, help you understand the basics, uh, helping you build stuff. Then we do interview prep practice. I'm going to give you a resume with work experience on it. You are going to get work experience by being part of the team project. Did you, all you have to do really is do the work. All the steps have been figured out by me and there is no guesswork okay if you're interested that's the first link in the description and as i promised i hope i'm not gonna forget I'm gonna link to the, uh, the job search system for you to check out okay so that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video bye bye